What's up, guys and gals? It's your old pal Goliath here with something that blew my mind. I came across not just one, but two amazing winged cosplayers, and we're going to talk to them right now because I'm just blown away. I mean, I'm just Prince Poke of Amon representing Arc Studios as always, guys and gals. But I am standing here with. Uh, my name is Elizabeth. I am with Marielle's Cosplay on Instagram. As well as. I'm Jennifer Carter from No Sleep Till Cosplay. And their cosplays are phenomenal, everybody. They are just magical and beautiful. In a little bit, we're going to have each girl step forward and show off their beautiful creativity, their wings, and so much more. So I got to ask, what brought you both to Holiday Matsuri-Con, not Otakon, not Dragon Con, not Comic-Con? What brought you here to Holiday Matsuri-Con? Um, I started coming to Holiday Matsuri about three years ago, and this is honestly my favorite convention I go to every year, so it was definitely like I had to go to. <laughs> Very nice. And what brought you here? Well, we're from Tampa, so it's a nice local con, and we just really enjoy stretching ourselves and doing a holiday-themed version of our favorite characters. <laughs> I love it. So, as many cosplayers have been doing this, you don't just start out doing this. You don't just start out going, one day I'm going to make animatronic wings and awesomeness like me. This took years of practice and sewing. So, how many years, how many hours did all this take? You know, What brought it all together for you? Like, What is the passion behind all of it? Um, so I started sewing when I was eight years old, uh, which I'm 23 now, so y'all can do the math, sorry. Um, and I've been cosplaying for about four years. I actually saw her on uh, Facebook and decided I want to do wings as well. And I brought it up to my boyfriend and he was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And um, like four months later, here we are. The whole cosplay probably took about 100 hours to complete. God bless you and your boyfriend because that's work, dedication, and awesomeness that he's so supportive and loving. We'll get him in here later, too. Oh, it's not him. Never mind. <laughs> he's not here. We Okay. And how about you, ma'am? Actually, I've been cosplaying since 1989. I'm 45. You look amazing. <laughs> um, the wing build on this was actually part of the full Maleficent 2 new cosplay, so that was a total six-month build. The wings themselves are probably about three months of it. Um, I cosplay with my husband, who is an Assaultron running around here as well, but he's gotten snagged for some photos. <laughs> and remember, a family that cosplays together sticks together because it's just absolutely gorgeous to look at the dedication, love, and passion that families, friends, and loved ones push behind it. So I'm going to have each girl step forward and show off those beautiful wings. So if you wouldn't mind, please step forward. Let's show off those gorgeous wings. And remember, guys, this is all handmade stuff. These wings are animatronic. They weigh about 10 pounds altogether. But as they open up, we're going to get a nice picture of how amazing they look and just the texture, the build, the flow of the wings that just, oh, it's like an archangel. It's amazing to look at. And just think about how much, besides the wings, the armor build, the weapon build, and so much more went into this cosplay. That is how much dedication and love and passion we have for the cosplay community. So I'm going to have those wings closed up, and I'm going to bring her back here because I need to see those beautiful wings closed up because we need those all the way so we don't accidentally take somebody out. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> All right, ma'am, if you want to take a step forward and show us off those beautiful dark wings. They weigh about 35 pounds, guys and gals, and they are just enormous. They just open up. Remember, this is from Maleficent 2, the great movie that was no one saw coming, really. So the horns, the staff, the dress, everything comes together. Again, it's the dedication of the cosplay community that makes things like this possible. Don't forget to remember to like, share, and subscribe to their pages because I'm pretty sure, guys, there's so much more they can show us through their creativity. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe and follow this. So let's close those wings up and bring it back in. And look how fast they close. They close fabulous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so two more questions for each of you guys. What's in the future? What's in store for the next big thing? The next elaborate mecca? The next big thing? It's okay because everything is beautiful and glorious. It is all right. So don't worry, folks. So what's the next big thing? What's the next big thing coming? Um, I'm going to be doing uh, Luna from um, Sailor Moon. And I'm going to be doing the um, Hannah Alexander version of it. So. All right. I look forward to it. I look forward to it so much. And what's in store for your future? What's the next big, big, big thing? Ooh, we haven't decided yet. We are kind of doing a poll on our page to see what people like. I am doing all the rest of the Maleficent outfits from the movies because I always do the full range of outfits from the movies. I did it with the first one. I'm going to do it with this. But I'm going to be probably doing one of the robots from The Mandalorian. 
I haven't decided which one. My husband's going to do the other one, so that's really the plan. I will be around for that. I'm going to find out where you are. I'm coming to do another interview. So before we always end, we love giving our fans the power, the energy that we all love and drive for. So we all want to know what drives you. Words of wisdom, words of encouragement, words of love and passion. You can give the cosplay community and tell them out there. What can you give them? Because obviously you didn't just give up. You didn't just stop. You both pushed and pushed and pushed forward. So what can you tell our followers and fans out there? Your first attempt might not always work, but that's okay, and you should always keep trying. And if you love something, go for it. Don't let anyone ever stop you. I love it, and I love it, I love it. What do you have to say to the many fans and followers of Arc Studios out there? I totally agree. First time you might fail, second time you might fail, third time you'll get it. Um, really what's keeping me going right now is actually the fact that she saw mine and wanted to make wings. That has just made my entire con season. I mean, I almost cried. So <laughs> more than anything, I mean, that's what we do it. We like try to share all of our stuff online so that people can build them too. And that, sorry, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> it really meant a lot to me. So thank you. <laughs> Remember guys, it's about the family, the community, cosplayers, or we are one big happy family. We support, we love, we cheer for each other. She inspired this young lady to do something amazing. She inspired people to come out and try doing wonderful things. Just remember, we love you all here at Arc Studios. We love you, all your cosplays, because cosplay is not an age. It is not a race. It is not anything. It is about friendship, love, and memories, and that's all that's ever mattered to this community. So this is Goliath signing up from Arc Studios and saying goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time.